Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to run a program on the RV32i processor to find the sum of first 10 natural numbers. So if we want to find the sum of first 20 natural numbers, then we need to store the value 20 in the data memory location 0. So we need 4 registers to do this program. The first register R0 is always 0. The 3 other registers are R1, R2 and R3. So all these three registers would have initial value as don't care. So after the sum of first 20 natural numbers, we would store the output in data memory location 1. So the input is from this memory location 0 and the output is in this memory location 1. So there are totally 8 instructions for this program. The first instruction is a load instruction. Since we need to take the value from the data memory to the register bank R1, we use the load instruction. So the destination register is R1 and uh, data memory address is 0. So to represent 0, we take the value R0 and add it with hash 0. So 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and the data from data memory location 0 is loaded to the register R1. So then we need to make this R2 as 1. For that we don't need any uh, load instruction. We can use the add immediate instruction itself. Add immediate R2, R0, hash 1. So R0 is 0, so 0 plus 1 becomes 1. Similarly for R3 we are going to add R3, R0, R0. Since both the values are zeros, R3 also becomes 0. So now we are going to decrement this R1 to 19. We add both R2 and R3 and store it in R3. And we increment R2. So this is the loop which we are going to do for 20 iterations. So for the first one add immediate R1, R1, hash minus 1. So R1 is decremented by minus 1 and it becomes 19. For the, sec for the third one we are going to add R3, R2, R3. So initially it was 1 plus 0 which it will become 1. And we are going to increment R2 by using add immediate R2, R2, hash 1. So after this we are going to check whether the register R0 and R1 are equal. R1 is 19 but R0 is 0. So this is a branch not equal. So since both are not equal, we are going to jump 12 bytes behind. 12 bytes behind. So from this instruction, since each instruction is 4 bytes, this instruction is minus 4, this is minus 8 and this is minus 12. So for each iteration, the branch address is this. And hence we continue the same for 20 iterations and hence this becomes 18. We add 1 plus 2 and it becomes 3. This is incremented to 3. Then this decrements to 17. We add 3 plus 3 and this becomes 6. This is incremented to 4. This decrements to 16. We add 6 plus 4 and this becomes 10 this is incremented to 5 and so on after 20 iterations this finally becomes 0 and since both are equal to 0 the processor comes out of the loop by that time this would be at 20 and the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so on till 20 is 210 so R3 will have this value 210 which is the answer and this is going to be stored in data memory location 1 so for that we are going to use this store word instruction. The data in 210 is stored in register R3 and we need to store this value 210 in the memory location 1. For bringing this 1 we are going to add 0 with 1. So R0 with 1 gives the address 1 that is the address of data memory where we need to store and the value 210 is stored in R3. So it becomes store word R0, R3, hash 1. So this is the simulation results. So the first column is load word instruction. So this is load word R1, R0, hash 0. So the first source is R0 and the immediate value is 0. So when we add both the output is also 0. So this is the address given to the data memory and in the first location we have 20 as the data and that is stored in the register 
destination register R1. So RD is 1. And since this write enable register file signal is 1, it gets stored in register R1. So in next instruction, add immediate R2, comma R0, comma hash 1. So the first source is R0. So the address is R0. And the immediate value is 1. So here you can see the immediate value is 1. So R0's data, Rd is also 0. So when we add 0 with 1, we get the output 1. And the destination R2, so this is R2. And since the write enable register file signal is 1, it gets stored in register R2. The third instruction is add R3, R0, R0. So here both the source are zeros and the data stored in both the registers are also zero. So when we add zero with zero, we get the output as zero. The destination register is R3. And since this write enable register file signal is one, it gets stored in R3. The same is for these three instructions and these four instructions totally make a loop. So in branch not equal, we are going to check whether R0 and R1 values are not equal. So the first address is R0 and the second register is R1. So the data are 0 and 19. So it got decremented from 20 minus 1 and it became 19. Since both the values are not equal, we take a branch and hence this signal becomes 1. And the immediate value is 12 minus 12 so the current program counter value is 24 we add it with minus 12 and it becomes 12 so as you see you came back to the same instruction so this instruction so all these four instructions are in a loop till the branch fails so here this is the final branch instruction where it fails so here by the time we finish 20 iterations the r0 and r1 are the source R0 and R1 and the data in R0 is always 0 but the data in R1 got decremented from 20, 19, 18 so on and now after 20 iterations it became 0. Since both are equal we don't have a branch. This is a branch not equal instruction. Since both are equal we don't have a branch. So the processor comes out of the loop and we are going to store the value 210 in the data memory location 1. So the data 210 is here in RD2 and we are going to store it in the memory location 1. So for that we are going to add R0, R0 values 0 and immediate 1. So immediate here value is 1, immediate test value is 1. So when you add both you get the output as 1. So in this data memory location 1, you are going to store the value 210. So this is the simulation output. So after 84 clock cycles, we get this 1 in the output. And before uh, the in the 81st clock cycle, you have the value 210. So now we will see in Vivado software. So these are all the modules which we created using this software. So this is the core of this, uh, the main model of this design. So this is the data memory. Here you can see the decimal 20 is stored as uh, hexadecimal 14 in the first location, location 0. And the output would be stored in this location, location 1. So instruction memory, each instruction is of 4 bytes. And so uh, one instruction is stored in 4 bytes. And totally we have a total of 8 instructions. So when we run the simulation, so here we have only three ports, clock and reset are the inputs and the out is the output. So as I said in the 84th clock, you have the value 1, if I make this to sign decimal and in the 81st clock